Time for all you Libras to get your May Periscope on. Let's do this. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Libra for the month of May 2019? Libra, Spirit, Libra. What messages do you have for Libra? What guidance can you provide? Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra for May. Libras in May, Lord, meet Libras in May. What do they need to know for Libra? What area does Libra need to focus on in May? Libras in May. Libras in May. The deck that I'm using today is a 78 Tarot Mythical Tarot of the Legendary. I really, really love this deck. It's so beautiful and full, full of folklore. I just, well, you'll see. You'll love it too. Okay, let's find your Significator card. Wow. Right there. Spirit wasn't even trying to mess around. Okay. So let's see what messages we have. Okay. Our first card is Strength. Dragons, massive sea serpents and fantastical reptiles can be found in myths and legends from around the globe. They are often considered fearsome beasts, and many tales exist of knights trying to prove themselves by defeating the local dragon or serpent. But alongside these are tales of misunderstood dragons with a heart of gold, friends to humans rather than monsters. Dragons being tamed by the friendship, loyalty, and understanding of humans. Here we have the Strength card by Michael Calandra. A scaled serpentine dragon rises up and approaches a young woman, jaws gaping, but the girl is confident, welcoming, and gentle, caressing the serpent rather than showing fear or attacking it. An infinity symbol above her head symbolizes her spiritual power and balance. Don't rush in, all guns blazing or reacting through ignorance. Instead, be patient, taking time to understand what lies beneath the situation you find yourself in. Face the world with compassion and courage, knowing that you have the strength and will to endure. 
Your calm confidence will get you further than trying to force the issue and ending up exhausted and resentful. The Emperor Odin is the king of the Aesir, the gods in North mythology. He is a god of war and death, protector of heroes, and welcomes the fallen warriors into Valhalla. He is also considered to be a god of the sky, of wisdom and of poetry, a powerful leader to whom wolves and ravens are sacred. His strength and experience, along with his leadership of, of the gods, means that he makes a perfect emperor. Here we have the Emperor card by Carol Phillips. Odin charges into battle on his trusty eight-legged steed Sleipner, surrounded by his wolves and ravens. This is a measured, prepared action. His animals are his scouts, his eyes and ears, ensuing that he is not surprised. His strategy is not disrupted. You need to follow a structure. Take the time to make a plan and stick to it. Use the opportunities in front of you to exert your control over the situation at hand and make sure you tie up all the loose ends. Don't get distracted. There is plenty of time for fun and enjoyment, but only once the job is done and the work is complete. It may seem boring in some ways, but it's the only way to get the results you want. So decide now if it's important to you. And Five of Cups. The focus for May is going to be in career, creative projects, and professional path. The term gargoyle originates from the French legend of La Gargoyle, a grotesque dragon who terrorized ruin. They are carved into the architecture for the practical purpose of draining water away, but also serve to scare the local peasants into the sanctuary of the church as they showed the evil living outside. Here we have the Five of Cups by Rebecca Zenz. A gargoyle sits, contemplating her inner turmoil in familiar surroundings as the world goes by. She is broken and distraught, unable to face the world, and unable to drag herself to the safety of her castle. Loss and regret have hit you hard. You need time to heal before you can move on. Let the tears flow for now, knowing happiness and joy will return to your life in time. You may not see it now, but when you are ready, you will. In the meantime, take care of yourself and look for small joys when possible. Okay, my lovely Libras. That feeling that you have in your gut got you feeling alone? Are you keeping your feelings bottled up inside of yourself? Is someone working against you getting that job or promotion? You need to trust your intuition. Be prepared. If they're trying to stop you from getting promotion, make a plan. You go after it. It's yours. You have the strength and the determination to get it. So go for it. But don't go in guns blazing. Take a step back. Look at the situation strategize. Work smart on this one, not hard. Just don't get caught off guard, okay? And if you feel like somebody's working behind your back, especially, you don't have to say a word to them. You make your own plan, and because the only person you really need to worry about is yourself. So go ahead, during the month of May, Reevaluate the situation that you're in, whether it's getting a job, getting a promotion, keeping your job. Look at all sides, all sides. Make a plan, step by step, 
how you're going to take care of this, how you're going to get that job, how you're going to keep that job, how you're going to get that promotion. Make a plan step by step by step and put it into action. But keep your mouth closed. Don't go running your mouth to somebody bragging about what you're doing. Keep your mouth closed and do it in silence. Be very, very calculated. Okay, because you have to protect yourself and your own. I really hope that today's message resonated with you and will help guide you through the month of May. If you would like a more detailed reading, please go to my website at www.conjurenits.com and click on the link at the top that says readings. I hope you all have a very, very wonderful May and love your bunches.